going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alyssa Morrison or the Alyssa Morrison if you are new here and today I am sharing with you my comparison between the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Before we jump into today's video, make sure that you are subscribed down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more from me. Both of the products that I am talking about today will be listed in the down bar below if you wanted to check them out and let's just go ahead and get started. I have been hearing a lot of hype recently about the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. They also have a normal camo concealer that's not necessarily hydrating. Um, I believe that the hydrating version is newer. I definitely wanted to talk about both of these because I've been trying them out for a while and I wanted to compare and contrast. A lot of people have been making uh, the claim that this could possibly be a dupe for the camo con or the <laughs> shape tape concealer and for the price points. A big difference. So to start off, the uh, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is a tried and true concealer for me. I have been using this for a while now. The only real downside that I have to say about the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is the packaging, and I don't know if I just got a bad tube or if this is something that everybody deals with, but it seriously <laughs> creates a mess. Oh. For some reason, the packaging on the Tarte has not held up well with use. It tends to leak out of the top cap, and it just causes, like, my whole entire makeup bag to just look <laughs> dingy and have a product everywhere. Um, so that's definitely something that I am not super stoked about with the Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like I've wasted a lot of product, and also for the price point, I just feel like this should not be happening, especially for a higher-end concealer. I want something that's gonna last and hold up and not leak all over. Both have these wide dome applicators, which I really, really love. It makes it really easy to blend out and apply to bigger surface areas on your skin. The shade that I have in each of these in the camo concealer, I have the light ivory and in the shape tape, I have fair to light neutral. They're pretty similar. I think this one might be a little bit lighter. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these so you can see the coverage here. This one definitely has warmer undertones and like I said, I just kind of picked these shades at random. Um, I don't claim that they're like exactly the same shade because I don't really think that I picked the same shades, if that makes sense. Um, but overall, very similar finishes. Um, they both blend out really nicely. And they, they really are that thick kind of full coverage concealer. If you are looking for a really good affordable concealer, I 100% would recommend the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer. I think that the hydrating aspect of this concealer definitely gives a more natural effect. It helps to blend into the skin much more effortlessly and it looks... It doesn't look cakey. In my personal opinion, I do think that the e.l.f. Camo Concealer is absolutely a dupe for the higher end shape tape. Mostly due to the packaging, I think that I would prefer the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I think it does an amazing job at covering any blemishes that I have, any redness, anything on the skin. It blends out super effortlessly. I don't feel like it oxidizes a lot throughout the day. I feel like it maintains like a really natural look on the skin. Especially given the price point, this has been my go-to concealer concealer lately. I just use this almost every single day. If you guys have tried the Shape Tape Concealer, let me know if you're, if you guys deal with this like packaging situation. <laughs> I feel like I'm constantly like, cleaning it and I've just wasted so much product and I have not had this experience with the camo concealer. All thoughts, I definitely prefer the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. If this changes in the future, I'll let you guys know, but as of right now, this has definitely been my go-to concealer and the price point, you absolutely cannot beat it. I think it's such a great product. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. Please be sure to subscribe and I will see you next week.